right. Um, great. That's a great win for us. I don't. You know, we uh, we played better, played with confidence. We expected to win, even when we were down four late. Um, give Hofstra credit. We knew they were going to make shots. Those kids can make incredible shots, and they made them. They're really hard to guard. And uh, we made a, a decision that we were going to go small. Uh, played a small lineup. We haven't practiced small lineup at all, but I thought it was the best way to win. And um, you know, we got lucky at the end. Well, we didn't get lucky. We executed. We got layup by Eric. We got layup by Juju. Then we got two free throws, and that's how you come back and win. You're not shooting jump shots. And uh, Eric had the big block. Uh, there and I thought defensively the last three possessions defensively we couldn't really play any better uh, than we played uh, when the game was on the line so didn't panic I thought we got a little sped up Wednesday night we didn't panic tonight and um, we're a work in progress but that's a good team I don't know if that's a really good team they had Houston down 13 with seven to go it's a really good team guys and um, for us to where we are right now it's a great win for us we love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jackler Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Questions? Uh, hey, Coach, uh, you mentioned how you, you wanted to go play small. How much did that decision go into um, Q not playing? Yeah, that was everything. So I told Q at halftime, I said, Q, this might not feel right, but I, I'm gonna I'm going small, right? And I said, they're, we got a lot of Big Ten games coming up. We got a lot of big games coming up. I said, they're going to have big seven-footers out there that can't shoot or whatever you're going to play. I said, tonight, it's the Larry Brown in me. I had to figure out how to win the game, right? And it was lineups we haven't practiced. It didn't always look great, but it gave us the best chance to win, and Q was good with it. So uh, he's happy we won, and uh, I'm glad we were able to win. And next game, we'll see you know, what it is, but he's a big part of us. And Juju just can move his feet a little bit better, can guard a little bit better, and, and gave us great minutes again. So you know, Q is still our starting center and a big part of this team. Um, after Wednesday's game, I mean, when you only have one day yeah. turn around from that what, what did you even try to focus on yesterday how much did you, you yeah. know, even harp on what happened that week? so what we what we worked on is our attitudes our body language being positive this isn't easy it's new for a lot of guys on our rotation six of our nine or whatever we're playing they're all new you know they've never been ranked some of them teams coming so we just wanted to like hey it's not easy okay don't hang our heads because we're down four to somebody. It's part of basketball, and we're all trying to find ourselves. So it was more about body language and talking about attitudes, and we let everybody talk and just, all right, what's on your mind? And I think it helped us. I mean, we our, our body language was better. Our togetherness was better tonight. And, uh, you know, we never quit either. They never quit, but we never quit. And um, so it was a step in the right direction. Then we just tried to work on ball screen defense. You know, there was... We watched how Houston guarded them. We watched how Iona guarded them, and um, and just tried to figure out the best way to guard their ball screen because they're they're dynamic. Those those guards are special. Jacob, second Hey, coach. Uh, today it felt like we saw kind of like a more complete performance from Ian Martinez, kind of yeah. putting together a lot of the different things we've seen through the games. Is this more the role that you're hoping to see him in? Yeah, uh, you know, we, each game he gets more comfortable. I trust him more. Um, teammates trust him more. He's an excellent defender, and he's so we. And then we were with X. I mean, they're they're you know an X. I don't know how many minutes he played. If I was career high for him here, um, and he was terrific on defense. So it just gave us a chance. And uh, I think he even had X playing center at one point uh, out there to finish the first half, just because it gave us the best chance to guard him. And uh, so um, yeah, I mean. Ian just keeps getting better. Um, but him and Fats together more a little bit. He just adjusts around Fats and part of the game. So um, he's just going to continue to get better and help us. Emma in the middle. Julian had a big night tonight with a few blocks and 10 points. Can you talk a little bit about his performance? Yeah, he just c continues to do it. And he's he's got such good feet, so you can play him in a game like this. and. Uh, 
he had, a, he had a nice block from behind. Then the one kid made the running left hand hook over. It was great defense because we were helping out of the corners, which we weren't supposed to be doing, and we gave up a three. And then I was like, let them try to score over Juju. And uh, so he was great. He gave us presence in the paint, helped us get to the bonus, which was big. We ended up getting to the double bonus. We were able to get the down. We were able to get downhill a little bit more because the pressure he was putting on him uh, on the post. And uh, so, yeah, he's. He's good, he just keeps getting better. And he can play a lot of different ways. He can guard bigs, he can guard smalls. Uh, and that really helps us. And then, did he make a three? Missed it tonight? Yeah, he missed it tonight. But we're all confident that he can make that. When you went small, it looked a lot like the five out that you were running last year. And, yeah. it, and it sped up the team. What's it take to get used to playing with an actual pivot? A guy in the in the paint with his hand up in the air. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. It, you know, we did it with Bruno. We did it with Sticks, and we did it before that with Alex Lynn. So, it's just a matter of time. It's just adjusting to the double teams quicker. That's what we have to do. It's really about defense. It's mm. it's the other end. It's just that's a matchup nightmare. Their starting center wasn't here, mm -hmm. which I think hurt them, but also made them harder to guard because. They could stretch you with five guys. They played their four man at the five, and he could make three. So it's really, it was really a tough, tough matchup for us. But no, we'll get it, guys. Come on, we're we're getting there. It's give us time. Coach, after the George Mason game, you talked about all the near steals that your defense had. Yeah. How did it feel to clinch the game today? Yeah, the... it was good. You know, we got the block shot. We got the deflection on the side. You know, Juju knocked it out. Move the ball back 10 feet and then fast to get the steal was great. And they did everything right. The best part is they did everything right, right? So you don't practice those situations all the time. You just don't. And for them to listen in the timeout, we had fouls to give. In regulation, we used it, you know, early before Eric blocked the shot. We used it late. They switched. Juju did a great job on the ball. And uh, they switched and they made them catch it going away from the basket. They did everything right. And that's really what's the most important. Last one. Yes, Coach, through the years, how much have you developed a trust in Eric Ayala just to have the ball late in games and really on both ends of the floor? Yeah, I just, I, I just, I think he, when he can get the ball in the middle of the floor, he's really good and get downhill. And um, yeah, we have great trust and we're, we're still figuring it out, right? So we're like trying to get it all together. And, um, you know, tonight wasn't one of those things where you're really working on your sets because you didn't run a lot of sets. Um, just because of the situation. But yeah, we trust him. It was great to get a layup down four, to get a layup. That's really nice, right? And, uh, and then back-to-back -back stops after that. But uh, yeah, we trust him. And uh, he's playing well, he's a hard guard. And uh, he stretches the D a little bit for us. And you know, it's just a matter of time. Maybe us getting out of here, going down warm weather and just bonding. And maybe we'll come back one of the hottest teams shooting the ball in America, we'll see. But. As long as we defend and keep guarding, we'll give ourselves a chance. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.